All right, back now to the case of uh, Victoria Osteen, who was the wife of the megachurch leader Joel Osteen down in Houston, Texas. She is accused of assaulting a Continental Airlines flight attendant. Back now with our legal panel, uh, panel Andrew Smiley, Chris Amolsch. Chris, let me uh, take a whack at this because, I, you know, the plaintiff was hardly injured. I mean, she was allegedly shoved by Mrs. Osteen. Um, and now she claims her damages are the following. She's lost some of her faith and she suffers from, dare I say it, hemorrhoids. Um, I, I don't get the correlation, but I'm not a doctor. But what, what really catches my attention is she wants 10% of the wealth of the defendant, Mrs. Olstein. What do you think? I, it's a joke. I mean, the, the plaintiff's lawyer said, well, we're hoping that the jury forgets about the famous name. Are you kidding me? That's all this is about, is the famous name. This is a, we're, we're having a jury trial for 10% of somebody's wealth because somebody got pushed. I mean, so this is kind of a, an ambulance to. chaser, right? She and her attorney? Yeah, I mean, Right, that's what we're down to. The reason this is in court is because they want money, not because she was injured, not because she was lost her faith or had a hemorrhoids or any other phantom uh, injury she can right. create. She wants to get paid. And the problem is this demeans the entire plaintiff's bar. There are right. plenty of people who deserve to recover, but now we're talking about this. It's, a it's really an injustice. Andrew, what's interesting yeah. is, is, you know, during jury selection, you had a bunch of people, prospective jurors, who said, you know, I love and adore ministers, and he had a bunch who said, I don't trust them any <laughs> right. further, and I can throw them. Right. So, you know, so, do you do better uh, if you have a famous defendant who is a minister? She's, she's also clergy in the church. Right. It, you know, it, it depends. You never know what a jury is going to do. It can help. It can hurt. I think what this is about, and I, and I don't disagree with Chris. I mean, there's, you know, there's plenty of uh, legitimate cases that should be the focus on the news and in the media. But what this is about is a woman who is obviously highly embarrassed on the plane. Uh, this Osteen woman caused quite the scene, grounded the plane for two and a half hours, got on there, bossed and pushed everybody around, and now she's being taken to the mat on it. And in some respects, I say kudos to the plaintiff for dragging this woman to court and causing as much of an inconvenience for her as she caused everybody on yeah. that plane. I agree it's not yeah, a big injury case and fine. there's not much there. But it's, you know, for these people that have money, it's not about being fined. Well, speaking it's about of money, Chris, um, but, but the defendant has a famous a defense that. attorney, Rusty Harden. I'm not sure I'd want him. He famously <laughs> lost the Arthur Anderson case and 85,000 employees suddenly lost their job and he's probably largely responsible for his famous client pitcher Roger Clemens being the target of a federal investigation. He's the guy who taunted <laughs> prosecutors. And he's probably charging them more than a jury is going to give uh, the plaintiff, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm I not sure both, I'd ever I want Rusty Andrew, Harden, but that's just me. Guys, thanks very much. Both, Out of time here. Andrew Smiley, thanks. Chris Amolsch, good to see you both.